Hi guys, I'm Ava Aram and today I will be talking to you about why we choose youth group. My topic is fun and I'm just going to give you some examples of times I've had fun in colonial youth group. Um, a big part of youth group for me was going to Camp Pyro. Um, this is where I first decided to come to Colonial Church. Um, a group of my friends was going to a summer camp and I decided to tag along and this is where I was able to meet people that went to the camp. I met Nicole Lindsay for the first time and we got to know leaders in the cabin who were high schoolers at Colonial Church and overall it was just a great experience um, to be able to have with everybody. Um, and then this is what brought me to Colonial Church, like I said. So right after fourth grade or right after fifth grade, I went to Colonial Middle School um, programming, just like you guys are in now. And the rest of my family went to CPC. So I was kind of alone and I decided to follow my gut and go to Colonial Middle School while the rest of my family was at CPC. Um, once I went to Colonial, we were able to have a lot of lock-ins, which is one of my highlights of youth group in Colonial. Um, in these lock-ins, we spent lots of hours watching movies, playing games like sardines or would you rather, and when we weren't playing these games, um, we just spent all of our time talking. Um, these games aren't the highlight of the lock-ins. It's spending time with people that you wouldn't normally spend time with outside of church. So for example, people younger than you, people older than you, um, I've been able to create friendships that will last me a lifetime um, from this youth group because I talked to these, all these people and got to hang out with them through lock-ins and things like that. And the games are what matter, but it's just the people who you are with that what determines if it'll be fun or not. Um, and then along with that, it's reaching out to people who you don't normally talk to or don't normally see. Um, and this helps you just create new friendships through, through youth group and stuff like that. Um, we would talk so much that sometimes Madison would get a little mad um, at us because she was trying to teach us something important while we were talking over her. Um, don't do that. Not recommended. Um, but this kind of reminds me of last year when we played the game with the hot dogs. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but um, there were some kids on stage with buckets and we would just throw the hot dogs at them trying to get them in the buckets. And... Everyone was dying laughing, and to this day, it might be one of the funnest youth group events that um, we've had. Along with this um, is another event that um, that's really funny and kind of disgusting at the same time, um, is the croc game. When, when we all, not all, I didn't do it, but when you guys gratefully volunteered to put on crocs that had liquid substances in them of various kinds, and you had to guess which sub substance was in your crock. And this might have included some gagging and almost throwing up from a couple of members of youth group, but it was still one of the funniest nights. And I wouldn't have traded for a world for the world. And some of you maybe would have chosen to not volunteer for that particular game, but um, it was still a great time. Um, and moments like these are why I choose youth group and why I have been choosing youth group. Um, and as a couple of you might know, I'm going off to college very, very soon. Um, so I will miss all of these fun and exciting events that um, Madison, Andrew, and Leah all get to put on for you. And I hope you guys continue to come have fun at youth group um and choose to spend your time here because it is well worth it and you will make friendships that will last a lifetime